Hey guys, this is Duncan Bank. What's up? My name is Keisha. A few months ago, I got to spend some time with Val Virginia's Duncan Bentley. Oh my god! <laughs> Valvedinia are such an inspiration to the South African metal scene at the moment. They are one of the only bands that continuously return to Europe. It's basically their second home these days. So, um, they're also going to be my band of the month for March. I know it's a little late, I'm sorry. They have revolutionized what it means to be in a South African band. They do things differently and they are killing it. They are so hardworking. They deserve every bit of praise and more. They have the best quality merch and I cannot wait to get my hands on some more of it. So, um, Valvedenia is also my band of the month because they announced their album tour in March and I'm so excited for it. Their launch is going to be on the 3rd of May here in Josie. Um, it's going to be such a big show with um, a band coming up from Cape Town, Creating the God Form, Facing the Gallows and Human Nebula. I'm so excited because these are the giants in our scene and them all coming together is going to be one awesome pot of goodness. If you're excited for a slam party, then join me on the 3rd of May because I will definitely be their first gig of the launch is going to be here in South Africa. Check out the links in my description if you want to see more information, where you can see them, uh, what countries and so forth. But being the incredible achievers that they are, Valvedinia has announced two tours, one in Europe and one in America this year and uh, I'm so excited for that. Not that I'm gonna be there, I'm just happy for them and their success, you know, they are doing so well. Today's video is gonna be a minute that I got to spend with Duncan Bentley. Um, a few months back I managed to catch a few questions on camera and this is what he had to say. If I have any advice for South African bands, it's make sure every show you play you have merchandise. Uh, make sure every show you play you're getting a good cut from the door and the promoters aren't fucking you around. And make sure that you have good quality music and uh, don't skimp on anything. If you're a fan of a band, do things exactly the way the bands are doing it and that's how you will be. You'll be doing well. A lot of people ask us how the scene is back in South Africa and we always tell them that it is there, it's happening, it's growing and that's one thing that South Africans need to do stick together and make sure that we support our scene and make sure that all the bands feel loved and appreciated. Um, I feel that our scene is definitely there. A lot of the people are willing to support. We just need to make sure that they come out and actually you know what I mean, enjoy the shows and not end up uh, getting to that stage where they're like, oh, you know, I don't go to shows anymore. But, but, um, I feel that there's so many good musicians in South Africa and our scene is definitely growing. The more we tour, we try and let people know of how amazing South Africa is and that South Africa is definitely a spot that people should consider during walk tours um, and I feel like in, in the next few years South Africa will definitely grow and we'll, we'll start getting better bands and bigger acts coming through South Africa and the scene will slowly grow we just need to keep sticking together and spreading as much knowledge as we can and letting each other know what works and what doesn't and yeah, just stop all the hate don't hate on each other if another band's doing better just learn from the bands teach each other and that's how we're all going to get better in this since the beginning of last year we started planning a few Europe tours. Um, we've currently done two Europe tours. We've done one trip to Germany for a festival and one trip to the UK for a festival. Um, one thing we've learned from playing over there is that the promoters at the shows definitely look after the bands a lot better than they do in South Africa. As soon as you get to a show there, no matter what band you are, you get a backstage area. You get catering, so you get your own drinks for the night and food. Um, and that's one thing I haven't noticed the promoters giving to a lot of the SA bands. Another thing we've learned a lot is that um, uh, a lot of these bigger bands uh, use the best equipment possible, the best artwork, and the best production. Everything you do, you, you, you must not skimp on anything you're doing. You must make sure that everything you're doing is exactly the way the pros would be doing it. Um, this last tour we've done with Despise Icon, Aspire, Malevolence was definitely the most lucrative tour we've done. We've played to a lot of new faces, a lot of new people, and we learned the ways that uh, the pros do things. Um, 
Um, but definitely, I think that uh, a lot of these, uh, a lot of the knowledge that these bands have been teaching us needs to be passed on to the South African scene, and especially the way that a lot of the people run the shows and the way that they do things. But um, we've we've been through over 20 countries now um, on on the tours that we've been, and we've definitely learned that if you're from South Africa, you have a big market there because people want to hear bands from Africa because of how few bands uh, actually tour that are from Africa. So like that is a big selling point for our music being African. So make sure you let people know that you're from South Africa with the music you're making. And don't skimp on anything you're doing. Right? In my opinion, the highlights of all the tours we've done is actually getting to the to the countries overseas and realizing that we have a fan base there. Um, I was almost in tears the first German show we played because of how many people were there and how many people knew the lyrics. And everybody was just screaming it back at me. And like compared to when I've played shows in South Africa, a lot of people take heavier music for granted. And when I've gotten to the shows overseas, I've realized that people love the heavy music and they they respect it for every aspect that it is. And um, um, just the fact that, like, that we realized that we have fans in another country and getting there and actually being appreciated like blew our minds. Um, also another thing, just being thrown directly in there with all the other pro bands has like taught us so much because we just learned how things run. Um, that's one big thing for us. Another thing is like a lot of uh, a lot of the countries that I enjoyed the most, uh, Switzerland, Germany, uh, Poland, Czech Republic, uh, Italy, all of those places. They have huge metal scenes that appreciate heavy music and that's one thing that I feel like South Africans uh, have a big stigma against. A lot of people are like, okay, if you're playing heavy music, you're not going to go far, or you, should, you should play something mellower, but like, we've just been, you know what I mean, a, a big uh, learning curve for a lot of SM musicians just showing that no matter what genre you play, you need to just get your music out there to people and then you'll be there because with every genre there's millions of listeners, so you just got to get people to start listening to your music and enjoying it. Velvedinia are doing such a phenomenal job. I hope South African bands are inspired by them and are motivated by their hustle. Pull through on the 3rd of May with your friends and your friends' friends and your grannies and your aunties and all your family members because it's going to be a night to remember. Thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, I appreciate your support. Have a great day.